Hi, I'm here with Hank Gauchens, uh, who's a commercial manager of label printing at SPG Prints. And SPG has always been known for its uh, work with uh, development of screen, screen printing technology, particularly as a combination process in the, in a, in the narrow web industry. And at this show, I think one of the most exciting things uh, that's being launched is the, is the Rotolen system, Hank. So I wonder if you could just tell us what, I know it's a wider machine, and um, also the resolution has been increased. So I wonder if you could just tell us briefly what improvements have been made in this machine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what we did is, of course, uh, we are specialists in the uh, rotary screen business. In this business, the requirements are getting higher. The speed of the process in the pre-press um, needs to be increased. The old process using film is being done all over the world, but it's getting more cost involved because the film price is getting up. So what we have, we produce the Rotalan ourselves in Austria, in our own factory. Um, this Rotalan is for our clients who use the Rota mesh and Rota plate in a certain volume. What it does, when a screen what we have, for instance this one, it's a 405 mesh, that means 160,000 holes in every square inch. Um, it, it needs to be done, it needs to be prepared to go on the press. It takes normally a certain amount of period to do it on a conventional way, but what we can do now with the Rota LEN is we can decrease that to only 30 minutes. And directly after the process of beaming out the emulsion, right. it's ready for press. So the operator can do something else in the meantime, while the machine does it digitally by itself. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, I see also you, you have the, the, um, the new uh, Verilex. Yeah machine as well. So I wonder if you, could, if you could tell us, I know that this is capable of, of, um, of imaging multiple technologies, exactly. the plates. So I wonder if you could tell us about, about this machine as well. Thank you, Andy. Um, the Varilex we have designed, um, originally it was only produced to expose on the, uh, the screens, the rotary screens, mainly the rotor plate what we have. But we see an opportunity as well, or we saw an opportunity as well, to put different techniques in one machine. So what this machine can do, and that's relatively new and revolutionary, is we have one device which can expose both screens, dry offset plates, and flexo plates, the small size and the big sizes. Um, it's all done with UV inline, um, 5020 DPI, which is the highest on the market that we, that we have. Um, and well designed and produced by our colleagues from Austria, from SPG Austria. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you see uh, around the show, Hank, a lot of, um, of um, digital whites and, um, uh, and they claim to reach a certain percentage of the opaqueness of screen. Yeah. But um, I guess that you'd say that, that uh, the rotary screen still has a very strong place in the, in the narrow web market going forward. Yeah. What we recognize, um, how we speak to all our clients, and what I recognize myself, I travel all around the world visiting converters. Um, the top end brands on the market, uh, like L'Oreal, uh, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, they all want to have screen white on their products. Why? Because it has the highest opacity available, which the requirements are nowadays, and the standards still are on the market. With screen printing, we can manage that with the variety of screens that we have to come to this opacity. And that is why screen printing, uh, mainly with, for instance, the mesh where I just showed you, the 405 mesh, um, is the only one which can reach to that level. So that is what we still, and it will be there for many, many years, see as an added value on the labels that is being provided to our clients. Right. Yeah. Right. Because um, I, I guess that if you look at trends in the health and beauty market, for example, where you're seeing more um, demand for finer, um, quality print, for example, with the um, Oriental languages. So this will be a perfect um, way to image those those finer finer text exactly. text details. Exactly. Can you imagine on a square inch, 160,000 holes, and we can control these holes by opening them with a laser? It's it's enormous. If you imagine what what, what kind of technique that we have in house for our clients. And it saves them time as well. Right. So these two combines that screen printing, which is sometimes 
well, um, a bit of a long-term process for several companies can be fun again. Right, 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 right. Um, and I guess it's not only white, but also also in terms of um, uh, varnish, yeah. and in terms of um, you know high build varnish. I see a lot of, um, for example, inkjet machines around the around the show. But to get that very high build, for example, for, for Braille, yeah. this still seems to be the the way to go. Yeah, exactly. What we see on the market, of course, some competition also in digital try to copy uh, what we are doing, but still they are not able to get to the accuracy that we can manage with screen printing in terms of high build. With our meshes, uh, we see two different um, trends. One is the low build, like you see on wine labels. Uh, the family name of the, white, of the wine is being made with our meshes. The second one is the high build. Uh, then we go into Braille. To cover that area, it's not easy to do it. With our screens, we are able to go up to 300 micron thickness in terms of Braille. Well, um, I, I dare them to copy us, but what we see is that the screen printing is still number one in that area of business. Absolutely, thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed, Hank, and I uh, hope you have a, a good rest of the show here at Label Expo, and very nice to talk to you. Thank you very much, and good luck, Hank. Okay.